Did you know scientists believe the universe is 13.7 billion years old? Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we'll learn about the different components that make up the universe. The term universe refers to all the space, time, energy, and matter that has ever existed and will ever exist. So everything from planets and stars to galaxies and nebulas are within an incredibly huge and expanding universe. In our universe, there are many huge and hot clouds of gaseous elements and dust called nebulae. Nebulae are constantly spinning and cause gas and dust to slowly condense and rise in temperature, ultimately giving birth to stars. Stars are massive balls of gas held by their own gravity and generate their own energy by using hydrogen in their cores as fuel. Our sun, which is bigger than every planet in our solar system, is a star. But stars come in a variety of sizes and compositions, like the Antares star, which is 700 times larger than the Sun. Our solar system is at the edge of a galaxy called the Milky Way. A galaxy is a huge collection of millions or even billions of stars, interstellar gas, and dust which are held together by gravity. Just like stars, galaxies come in a variety of different sizes. They also come in different shapes. There are galaxies which are elliptical, spiral, lenticular, or regular shaped. Our Milky Way galaxy is spiral shaped. But there's so many stars in the universe. In fact, our galaxy only has 100 billion stars. So how do scientists classify them? Scientists use the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram to classify stars based on their surface temperature and brightness and compare them with other stars. In fact, when we use the classification system, the different categories of stars become apparent since these stars group up together at certain points on the diagram instead of being randomly distributed all over the place. To use the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, astronomers plot the temperature of a star on the horizontal axis and the luminosity of the star on the vertical axis. The resulting plot allows astronomers to see how the temperature and luminosity of a star related and how they change over time. Using the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, scientists have learned that stars fall into several different categories, including main sequence stars, red giants, white dwarfs, and supergiants. Let's review what we just learned. The universe is a huge open space that contains all the matter and energy that exists. A nebula is a hot cloud of gas and dust that spin, condense, and rise in temperature to form stars. Stars are massive balls of gas held by their own gravity. They burn hydrogen in their cores to generate energy. A galaxy is a huge system of millions of stars, gas and dust. Stars in a galaxy are held in place by gravity. Galaxies can be elliptical, spiral, lenticular, or regular shaped. Stars are classified by their surface temperature and luminosity using the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. The temperature is plotted on the horizontal axis, while the luminosity is plotted on the vertical axis. The resulting plot allows scientists to categorize stars into main sequence stars, red giants, white dwarfs, and supergiants.